Going green, you may not know this, can actually save you some green. Annabelle Gerwich is host of the Green Planet show Wasted, and we do waste a lot, don't we, Annabelle? Yes, it's true, and I think that people are really looking for ways to uh, cut down on their extra spending, and all the tips we're talking about today will save you money, and they're good for the planet. Okay, let's see how. We have five things to show. Yes. First of all, this is something we did in our home. We you eliminated did. the bottled water, mm -hmm. because we grew up on tap water, and we did okay. Right. And we've, we're saving a ton of money. Right, well, the average family these days is spending about uh, $500 to $2,000 a year on bottled water, so I'm saying just start today, get in the habit. You want to invest in you know in some reusable bottles and you know in one week's time it'll pay for the investment itself you get in the habit of bringing that bottle with you save tons trust of trust me i can vouch for this and if you're concerned about contaminants just buy a little filter for the faucet right, right. they're all. very inexpensive okay number two what do you suggest we do with the overuse of paper towel well you know i like to say that in america we have a pta paper towel addiction we do and the recycled towels are actually really expensive so i am advocating this year ditch the paper towel altogether, invest in some dish towels. You probably have them in your house, right? It'll save so much money and it's great for the environment too. But then do you have to do extra laundry? Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So you actually want to get a lot of dish towels so you're not doing laundry all the time. There but you go. It's another one of those invisible costs. There's a cost to the planet and to your wallet. So, so true. Okay, number three, this one's very interesting. You say eat 20% less meat, why? Right, now, uh, you know, of course, I didn't make this up, scientists yes. figured this out, that actually, if everyone in America reduced by just 20% the amount of meat we ate, it would have the same effect on the climate as if we all started driving hybrid cars. So let's see what it would right. be, like for a hamburger, for instance. And it's all because the production of cattle is very energy intensive, right? So this is what we're talking about. That's actually not a lot. We can do that's one bite. Yes, it's really a, not, a, not a lot at all. And then, you know, it's also better for your health, and it's also a little bit cheaper. Replace it with fruits and vegetables and grains. Do your health a Good favor, one. do the planet a favor, and your wallet. All right, we have a little bit of time left, and we want to get to the right. last two. Homemade cleaners. Yes, now last year on Wasted, nobody wanted to do this. I know, it's, I'm a little skeptical. You know what? I actually timed it out. This is a recipe for a glass cleaner. It took me 60 seconds and it to works. make it. And it works. It works. Okay, it's show vinegar, me. You water. have... 10 seconds. Yes. Vinegar, <laughs> water, baking soda, mix it together. And uh, we have the recipe on treehugger.com. You'll save maybe $500 a year. Oh, you just got my attention. Supplies. Yes. All right. And lastly, junk mail. Look at all this. How yes. do we get rid of it? Is there a way to get rid of junk mail? Well, you know, we're working on this. The first thing is, you know, it uses 100 million trees a year, right? So I'm asking everyone to join me. Go to do donotmail.org. Sign up a petition to get a do not mail registry, like the do not call registry. Oh, okay. And, you know, I've Great also idea. asked people on Earth Day to make one phone call. Call the catalog company that sends you three catalogs, you know, one and for everyone in your house. It. Say stop it. I love your product, but I don't need the catalog. Okay. Annabelle Gerwich, thank you so much. Thanks so much, Maggie.